Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Brother John Tarot here to do your 10 minute love reading messages for March. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull one of these tarot cards just to see your overall energy for, uh, for you in love. All right, let's get one card for Virgo, for the love life in March. the magician so you you, uh, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini but you're manifesting here so I'm feeling like you're manifesting some sort, sort, some sort of new love or someone uh, you're speaking things into existence wow the ten of pentacles the lover's card you could be dealing with a Gemini the emperor so yeah you definitely want someone um, who's going to bring you happiness and stability um, somebody that's going to be serious um, on top of the deck you have the four of pen five of pentacles sorry um, so you could be lacking money or you could be uh, lacking space to create right now, but I feel like you are on the right track. You're trying to create more money or um, you want someone that's going to bring you some sort of stability or someone that's going to motivate you to be better in life or um, th this is the type of energy I'm picking up on that you want. So you're trying to manifest somebody that's going to bring happiness to you or somebody that is is already happy or is going to make you happy. Um, let's see what you're facing during this time. Wow, the three of swords pop right out. So you could be, um, have just come out of a, a hard relationship or this could be third parties or something like that. The end of that or if something came to a close that hurt you in your heart space and it seemed like you want to turn this around and create something brand new. Somebody that's going to make you happy, like I said. Um, let's see what else are you facing. Why I forgot the Ten of Pentacles is a Virgo card. I forgot. Um, so you have two. You have the Seven of Swords and the Fool card. So also what you're facing is um, being sneaking and going about things, being foolish about things, not taking the right approach, approach um, just trying to get away with things or just lying getting caught up in, in things like that. So I feel like you're trying to be truthful. So just know that if you're not truthful and you're manifesting these things that you want in a person, just know that if you're not truthful, you're going to get back exactly someone that's like you or manipulative and things like that. Somebody who doesn't think or take um, uh, the right type of steps or actions. Um, so just be careful with that. Let's see what you're opposing here. What is Virgo opposing here? Page of page of swords. So what you're opposing is um, getting caught up in gossip or uh, spying on people or not taking enough action or just being just being all talk and no and no action. So just be cautious of um, getting caught up or watching someone else and how they're succeeding in, in love or uh, however you think that they're doing. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's get what the plan is here. Wow, the tower card, Scorpio energy. So the, the plan is to, um, I'm feeling like your love life is coming to an end or the way things that you, how, how you, how you were doing things is coming to an end or has come to an end. So it's like, that's why you're trying to manifest something brand new, something more lucrative or something that's going to make you happier. But just, this is also telling me to tell you, don't um, try to fix this. You need to go ahead and let um, things happen naturally. This is inevitable. This is supposed to happen this way. So you can have some sort of rebirth. And so you can see exactly what it is that you really want. Because only when we go through things and we have a painful ending, that's when we find out what exactly we don't want. But we also know what we do want. So it's a whole lot of not knowing exactly what you want, but a whole lot of knowing what you don't want. Um, let's get what else is the plan here. 
five of pentacles. Yeah, so it's going to be some lonely times coming in. Uh, or you may need some a long time. But this is, this is also abandoning situations or abandoning uh, a relationship or something that didn't work out. This is also being left out in the cold. So somebody could feel like uh, you're avoiding them or you could feel abandoned by someone or something like that. Um, so I'm feeling like somebody's house could have burned down as well too. Because um, the tower is on fire right here. And the, you see these people moving moving on, these same two people. So I'm feeling like they, somebody is homeless right here. So you could be figuring, trying to figure out where to go or how to, what's your next move going to be or something like that. Um, what's the root of the issue? So the root of the issue is the seven of pentacles working hard or, or, or seeing the benefits um, of the things that you planted and, and the things you got yourself into, seeing what you manifested and the outcome of that or where it's gotten you. So this is like you're reflecting on the, on the past, on all these past pains or this past hurt or whatever made you get to this tower moment. Um, let's see what the conclusion is. What's the conclusion here? What's the conclusion here? The Ace of Cups. The conclusion is to um, express your feelings or let your emotions out. I feel like you need to cry or release these emotions somehow um, so you can have some sort of brand new start or go ahead and heal and uh, so you can have some kind of brand new emotional beginning and, and love where this is like a brand new relationship. So I feel like once you get out of this funk and once you forgive yourself or once you go through some sort of healing moment, then you will have a brand new slate or something like that. Um, underneath the deck, you have judgment. Yeah, so judgment, five of cups and eight of wands. And then the sun card. Yeah, so I feel like right after this tower is going to be a good moment or something like that or some, something is going to make you happy to where you can start over or something like that. Um all right, so you have one, two, three. You have three major arcanas. We're going to clarify those. Actually, you have four, the magician. All right, why is the magician up here first? Wow, the star card came out. So the magician is here is because, yes, it's time for you to manifest something different, something uh, brand new that's going to balance you out, that's going to equal you out, that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Something that also comes natural. Um, this is like second nature. So this is the, the, the star card and, and the magician. That's like um, a powerful person that can manifest things and make things come true. So I'm feeling like whatever you're doing uh, is working right now. I feel like you're doing some kind of ritual or spell work at night. You need to keep doing that. Uh, let's get one for the full card. Why is the full card here? Wow, the emperor came out. Uh, the emperor and the full card. So this is somebody that is um, that that looks at that that makes good decisions. Okay, this is somebody that takes risks, but they're uh, a boss. So they're um, the risks that they take are risks risks that they've taken before. I'm feeling like, or something that they're skilled in. But this is somebody that stands out, um, that's liberated. This is someone that is um, free, spirited as well, too. But they're serious about their business and their home life and things like that. Um, so this, this is saying, um, you know, this is somebody, I feel like this is somebody who you're trying to appro oh, um, attract here. Uh, let's get one for the tarot card. Oh, I got 48 seconds. Oh, shit. Okay, for the tower card, you have the uh, King of Pentacles came out. So, yes, this is this is telling me to tell you um, to get your money together right now. Um, be more of a boss of making a strong found foundation um, that, that's going to be sturdy next time. Or this could be like holding on to your money as well, too. Let's get one for the, the Judgment card. Ten of Wands. So 
Yes, but the judgment is here on top of the Ten of Wands is because it's time for you to do the work. It's time for you to stop procrastinating and do the work. It's the only way to achieve happiness. And underneath the deck, you have justice. So you're going you're gonna to get justice for whatever this is. But thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you liked that reading. And um, I'll see y'all next time.